Good afternoon. Actually, it's morning here in New York, but I don't know where you are. Anyway, I'm rambling. Say hi to the Count, Bella Lugosi. Love this guy. The best Dracula ever. Although I am a fan of The Lost Boys, I thought uh, Brad Pitt as Louis in the uh, interview with the vampire was great, but I still think Bella Lugosi the best. Anyway, that's not what this is about. Just had a harebrained idea. Uh, Disney, if they want to make a pile of money, make a 360 degree camera that looks like R2-D2. And if you can make it uh, radio control where it will move back and forth, left and right, turns, that would make it even more impressive. And the technology to do both is probably there. It's just how cost pro prohibitive it would be. That I don't know. But like, just think like a uh, Samsung Gear 360, build it out a bit, put some <laughs> robotic RC parts in there to, you know, you got two sets of wheels on his legs. So if you only have one set going, it'll turn to this direction and this sets rolling it'll turn that way and if both are going go forward and reverse pretty simple and you would use your two sticks so on and so forth that part would probably add 50 bucks to the gadget the gear 360 camera un well under 200 dollars these days so just making a shell Actually, maybe even just make an RC shell for the Gear 360, that might work, and have the camera's bubble inside R2's bubble, which would have to be clear, of course. It wouldn't, I don't think you would want to have all the little uh, lines and so forth, because that would uh, interfere with your capture of 360 degree footage. Wow, I can't talk. I need more coffee. Coffee. So that's my harebrained idea for today. All you uh, do-it-yourselfers and 3D printers, there's a project for you. I mean, people would go absolutely batshit for it. I, I'm really surprised like Disney hasn't done this. And like I say, even just do one for like one of the 360 cameras that already exist. I think for the Xiaomi, it would be a little crazy because the Xiaomi is like the size of a point and shoot camera that wouldn't probably work too well because R2 would have to be fairly large or uh, let's see the GoPro Fusion hmm. it's a little on the chunky side too maybe the uh, Garmin Verb if you want to go for really high quality or uh, make something big and get that uh, Samsung round which I don't even know the price of, but that's more professional. Or a, um, what is it, the Insta360 Pro, another high-end 8K camera, I believe, that does 360 degrees and just plop that on as R2's head. Could work. All right, I think I've rambled on long enough. Have a great day. Bye for now. From the Mad Mohawk, Gwe Gwe. Onaki wahi!